Hey Dream Builders and Freedom Fighters, how y'all doing? This is Henry Jose. Hey, tonight what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about creating multiple streams of income versus focusing only on one income opportunity. Now I'm not really talking about, you know, can you build a business on top of a job? That's a given. The home-based business industry, whether it's affiliate marketing, network marketing, you know, online business, um, it's really designed for you to be able to build outside of a job. It takes your commitment and your your level of and being willing to work extra for up front so that you can get rid of the other you know later on or depending on your goal I'm talking for you to you guys that your goal is ultimately to match and surpass a job income that you have so you can ultimately get rid of it or retire from there and have your own business and and only have that income so I'm, I'm really mainly talking to you. if you're just looking at you know you're just hoping to make a few hundred dollars extra a month and all that this may not necessarily match up for you okay but <clears throat> so but you want to make sure that you you have you know whether you decide to build your business only you know five to ten hours a week you want to make sure that your commitment to those ten hours a week it's the same if not higher level of commitment than you in your job. I'm not saying drop the ball on your job. You want to make sure that you commit to it. What do I mean by that? That's an example. If, you, if you're limited in time, let's say you, build, you normally build your business on a Saturday afternoon, whether you're getting on the phone or you're doing your blogging or you, whatever it is that the opportunity that you're working on, your affiliate or whatever. Um, if a party uh, got scheduled on Saturday, I'm not talking about your own family or your kids. I've really decided that, you know, you know, with my kids and my family, that's that's a different story. But if I was just being invited to some party or even just uh, my siblings or something like that, depending on what kind of party it is or get together, um, it could be like a football game or something like that. Well, I drop my business to do that. Okay. Well, the question that you need to ask yourself is that if you were working for your job, would you skip your job for that gathering? If you won't skip your job, then why would you skip out on your business? Okay? It's easy to skip out on our own you know, home-based business because number one, you don't have a boss. Number two, you don't have like this big financial investment into it. So it's easy to turn your back on it. All right? So just be committed because you'll be able to build it then. But the main idea here and the real main, main focus here is that um, there's, there's, a, there's a confusion right now that can you build, you know, can you build multiple streams of income or do you, can you only focus on one? Well, you can really only put your focus on one primary opportunity, okay? You need to just, you know, you, you need to be totally focused on building that one primary opportunity. Um, and, and that's how you'll build it big. What most, but that doesn't mean you can't build multiple streams of income. What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, what I don't mean Okay, uh, where a lot of people have a make a mistake on this is that they think building multiple streams of income means being involved in all these other opportunities um, at the same time that doesn't complement each other. Well, a lot of people think it complements each other. Like for an example, you know, you might be in a wireless business, but then you saw a vitamin business and you figure, okay, that's not really conflicting, so I'll do that. And oh, how about this? you know legal business uh, or this other you know opportunity here and there okay that's really not the not the idea okay you want to make sure that you have one primary opportunity that where all your focus is really going to be but any additional income stream that you have should be coming from tools and systems um, that you're using or, or or using to attract people to your business to you um, but you're also generating additional income with it. Okay. Now, most of the time, the primary opportunity, the idea of a good primary opportunity should be based on the kind of level of profit, profitability it offers and also the kind of income potential that it has, you know, not only in the long run, but even in the short run. Okay. <clears throat> what do I mean by that? Well, a lot of times we get involved, especially in the network marketing industry, because of residuals, right? But in the old days, the residuals is supposed to, you know, you, you know, the idea is that you don't worry about not making too much money in the front end, but your goal is to build it up so big to where you've got this huge residual. <coughs> well, in today's economy, in today's environment, hopefully you're not in an opportunity like that anymore because you really the in today's environment that uh, you should be able to make decent upfront income nowadays while you're still in the process of building residual okay now 
you can build your multiple streams of income by using tools and other businesses or opportunities. Like, so kind of give you an example. My my main primary opportunity outside of you know building my own system and and income from that, and that's really my primary opportunity. But I'm using other systems and businesses to drive business to that. Okay, um, you, I'm well. Let's put it this way. Forget the fact that I have my own company and all that. Let's just say you're building, you know, a one particular business and, and all. And your primary opportunity should not only afford you or give you an opportunity to have a decent upfront, you know, income, but also should be able to provide you with some uh, bigger chunk commissions or larger commissions, not just based on a buildup, but there's an a, a availability of bigger dollars, uh, bigger commissions. Okay. I'm talking, you know, that you have a way to generate uh, a $500 to $1,000 to a $3,000 commission because that's where you can really explode your income fast, okay? You know, and, <clears throat> and that's, that's really one of the fastest ways to do it. Nothing wrong with building it up from a small chunk, but that, that's a different story. Now, but you might be able to use another opportunity that offers a lower end cost, a lower buy-in to attract a lot more people to, to your funnel, to your sales funnel, but then ultimately be able to introduce them to your main primary opportunity. Why? Let me give you an example. You know, there's an opportunity that, that I use right now as a, as a front end offer because it attracts a lot of people. Why does it attract a lot of people? Well, because it offers 200% commission. A low cost, you know, for every buy-in, you know, at $40, you know, there's an opportunity to make $80, okay? So it's pretty quick uh, turnaround and, and it pays weekly and it's a big chunk. That's a pretty good chunk. So, you know, that attracts a lot of people. But my goal is that as I help them build that business, be able to, and but, you know, the strength of that business is the upfront commission, but the residuals behind it is quite low. Well, then I introduce them to a concept at that point that will help them build their residual faster and also an opportunity not to only make $80, but to be able to make $100 a month plus a continuous without having to resell, but also an opportunity to make a $500, $1,000, $3,000 chunk, okay? And that's really the, the snowball effect there. Okay, that's that's you know, or or maybe your primary opportunity it costs two to three hundred dollars to get started in, and you've got some great products and a good you know compensation plan, but it costs that much to get in. Nothing wrong with that, okay. But sometimes you might need to attract people at a lower cost, and while people are coming in at let's say a twenty-five dollar opportunity or, or a, a, a twenty-five dollar product, okay, that gets in your foot their foot in, in your door. And now you open the door to the other opportunities and you're able to introduce them to your main business, okay? And you're able to share it. You're not shoving it down their throat. If anything, you're passively sharing it with them because it's an addition or a plus over and above what you show them up front, okay? I don't know if that makes sense. And I could be rambling here. Uh, here's another example. You know, I also have, I use systems that provide, you know, I use tools, okay? I have, uh, as a matter of fact, there's this one tool that I offer that basically I signed up for a, a program that's $25 one time and it gave me a, a lead scraper, okay? I paid for a lead scraper before that cost over $197, okay? But this one, a one-time buy-in of $25 into this opportunity got me a lead scraper. Well, guess what? I'm able to market that lead scraper the same way. They get a lead, free lead scraper and if they get involved for $25 one time, well, guess what? They get involved in that, but then I'm able to show them the opportunity of being able, being able to uh, receive residual incomes and bigger chunk commissions with another opportunity. But in the meantime, if let's say out of you know 20 people that got involved uh, on a $25 program, and I, let's just say I made, you know, whatever, let's say I made uh, uh, $250 out of that, okay? Well, that's still $250 I made, and if only one person out of 20 get involved in my primary opportunity, that's great, and it's not a loss here because there was an income here. Now I can take that 250 and put it towards more marketing to generate more leads for my primary business okay so 
you know, I've got also, you know, leads. You know, I have a lead source that I offer and I'm able to sell a lead source to other people, okay? And and attract them to me. I make a chunk of money out of that, but at the same time, it drives more leads to my to to my database, which ultimately will learn about my primary business. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense, you guys, but you cannot build, that's not, you, you can build multiple streams of income if you always see the other one as a, a, as a way to get more leads in and more upfront income so that you can bring more, more uh, people in front of your main business, okay? The ones that's going to pay you longer, uh, bigger chunks, uh, whatever your primary opportunity is, whatever for your reason is for really wanting to have that as a primary opportunity. Okay? Hopefully it makes sense, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great night.